Before we get into the how-to part of maxing out on bench press, it's important to ask, why are you planning on maxing out in the first place? For bodybuilding purposes, you heard me say that a one rep max PR is not a very good indicator of new muscle mass. Rather, an increase in your five to eight rep max is a much better representation of new muscle gain. For that reason alone, I don't ever recommend regularly maxing out. In fact, in my own personal training programming, I never personally go below five to eight reps on anything, except maybe one to two times per year. And when I do, it's not necessarily to max out, but rather to touch new weights that I haven't been training with, but that I plan on working up to a new personal record in, in the five to eight rep range within the future. For example, this entire training block, I was working with 275 for sets of five to eight reps on the incline bench. And that's the heaviest weight I've been working with for the last six months. In the next six months of training, I plan on bringing that up to 315 pounds for five to eight reps on the incline. And how I'm gonna be doing this is each training block on the last week, I'll take that 315 pounds and simply aim to increase it by one more rep. That's once every five to six weeks, I'll aim for only a one rep PR. And I'm only doing this at the end of the training block when fatigue is at its highest and performance is actually at its lowest. Over time, I'm aiming to build that up to handling that weight fresh and aiming for it to be my normal working weight with much higher reps. That being said, this is not specifically a one rep max that I'm working up to, but something called a daily max, which simply means it's a weight that I can handle on any day of the week in training, regardless if I'm fully recovered or in a very fatigued state. Now, if you're planning on testing your one rep max or utilizing a similar method that I currently am, that does call for a heavy single rep in training done very infrequently. There's a few things you wanna note before doing so. First, the obvious. There's no need to do this more than one to two times per year. I much rather see you test your five to eight rep max. But if you're at the advanced stages and you wanna use a rep progression model like this, this is how I would go about leading up to that heavy single rep in training. First, the warm up sets are key. The stronger you are, the more warm up sets you're gonna need. For a 315 pound bench, you'll need way more than a 135 pound bench. Each one of these warm up sets should be progressive in weight and the reps should drop as the weight increases. The first two sets are just to get some blood flowing so that the muscles are warm and these should be done between 10 and 20 reps. From there, the muscles should be warm, but now you need to get the nervous system ready for heavy loading. So every set will be a progressive acclimation set. Starting with sets of five, you're only gonna jump 10 to 20 pounds on most sets and progressively keep jumping weight going from five reps down to three reps, two, and then finally a single rep. Now this first set of one should be a submaximal set that's close to your final top rep, but not your max. This should give you a gauge on how much you can jump for your final set. From there, I always recommend a spotter or at the very least setting up the safety pins in a power rack if you have access to them and going for a solid rep that you can do in almost any condition. If you recall in many of Arnold's training programs, you see he did recommend working up to single reps during specific periods of time during training. Again, these are not specifically one rep maxes that you'd only be able to hit on your best day when fresh and fully recovered and performance is at its peak. This is single rep training used very infrequently, but using a load that's higher than your normal working weight so that you could train your body to handle it in the future for higher repetitions. If you're looking to build more mass using these proven old school bodybuilding training methods, I definitely recommend you check out my five day old school mass gain training program, ebook or membership program as well as work with me directly if you need one-on-one -on -one individual coaching and programming. For more info, check out all the links below in the description. And as always, if you want to see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.